Hi everybody, welcome to episode 8. Let's do this. Okay, how are we doing here? So best I can tell, these burners are still doing fine. Okay, but we could use some more Starling engines. So let's go make some. Just collecting some food at the moment. We're pretty good for um food now that our crops are finally coming in. It's always good to have some candy. So let's go make some bread. Beautiful. left? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so let's make a couple of pistons. So we can make them out of silver, bronze, or iron. What do we have on us? We do have some bronze. That's cool. Make a couple of those. Okay, it looks like lava's pretty good for powering these things. Putting up 10 RF, and that's as high as it goes. Okay. Whereas these things are putting out 16 RF, and this is putting in 2 RF. Okay. 
Yeah, it still seems rather slow, but it'll have to do. We've got some uranium, which is a good thing. Some quartz. That's cool. It'd be great if we can get some yellow ray. If we get some yellow ray, then we can skip right ahead and uh, make a nuclear reactor. Uh, take it up from there. But um, I'm not sure if that's going to happen on our first attempt. Either way, um, just gotta wait for it to do its thing, I suppose. Doesn't look like it's gotten very far either. Okay, um, need more starting engines, so let's go make one. I want to make too many of these because they're going to be redundant pretty quickly. Um, but while we need them, we need them. So, let's see. Okay. So how many are we making here? We have um, two, four, six, seven, so that's about 70 RF. Two lots of 16 RF, so that's uh, um, 102. 104 RFs per tick. That's gonna have to do. So while that's cooking away, let's see what else we can make. Uh, what we need to make our applied energistics uh, setup is we need a sur um, charged Sirtis Quartz Crystal, at least one. Doesn't look like we've found one yet, so that's fine, we'll just leave that. Um, what else can we do? If we want to make a power suit, we're going to need to start with a single emerald, which I don't believe we've got an emerald yet, so we can't do that either. Hmm, what do we got here? So, let's see if we can repair this bronze pickaxe for us. I believe we got still some bronze, that's cool. Okay. okay. And how is this lot doing? Nice lot of bronze. Some aluminium, some tin, and some lead. So let's get that bronze out of there. some more copper in there. Let's see if we can make ourselves a bit more protected. At this point, we're pretty vulnerable. So let's make some armor out of bronze. Okay, chest plate, some leggings. That should offer us some protection. There we go. So that gives us some um, six armor blocks. That's pretty good. Next, uh, we're gonna make a bow and arrow. In order to do that, we need to um, we need to make some arrows. We can use the arrows we usually get from skeletons, but they're pretty, um, they're pretty low damage. What I really want to do is I want to find a chicken, make some fleshing, and uh, use that. In order to do that, we need to, um, we need to find one. Okay. Maybe better if we can uh, start out with a sword. So uh, let's have a look here. So we've got some bronze, so we can make a sword. Um, so this is a cleaver, heavy defensive weapon, has powerful strike, but it's difficult to wield. Special abilities block, natural abilities beheading. That's cool. 
Uh, right here, special event relies on quick strikes. Right up here, quick strike, charge boost, and so on and so forth. Long sword, charge boost. And broad sword is a defensive weapon, box cuts damage in half. Um, damage is high. Javelin. Potent is a melee weapon, devastating at range. So damage is high, cuts is low. Broadly knife. Okay. Mm. Okay. A battle sign. Advance in weapon technology worthy of so many pigment everywhere. Special ability is damage reflector. And natural ability is rideable. Okay. Shuriken, okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Crossbow, precise range weapon, loads bolts that are fired on trigger. Scythe, broad reaping tool, excellent plans, attacks enemies at a wide range. That's cool. A long bow, range weapon, has greater range than a short bow, is able to shoot heavy arrows, but performs worse with light arrows. Okay. And a battle axe. Heavy offensive weapon capable of bringing down small trees and can send foes flying. I like the battle axe. So it needs. Does it say what it needs? No. Yeah. Some other, uh, some other items say what required parts they have, but uh, this one doesn't. Okay. And yeah, we can make a short bow. Or a long bow. One way or the other, we need that, um, we need that bowstring. We have to make a bowstring, we need some string. So have we filled any spiders with the flame? Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find us a chook. Because uh, if we can find a chicken, we can um, we can get its first flushing and um, make some arrows. The village off in the distance, that's cool.
don't know if chickens anywhere. And some more sheep. We haven't got our shears on us, but I can just go to craft some. There's some more sheep. I suppose I can connect, collect some of this uh, 
some material. Let's go with some bricks and some um some leather rack. That's useful. I guess. Uh, I guess still looking for those shooks. Um, so I guess we'll keep going. So we'll keep heading south, but uh, it's getting increasingly difficult to uh, navigate through this zone. Start cutting out some of these trees. Okay. So heading west now. And there's a joke! There's a joke! Yes! Yes! Come here, Chicky, let me kill you. Can we shave? Can we shave the feather off you? Yes, hello. Now you're carrying a shovel, let's keep it. Hello. 
Shoot things, okay. They look like blazes, but I don't. Ooh, ow. Okay, whatever they are, I want them. There's <laughs> a bit too many of them. Oh, they're fighting among each other, that's cool. Okay, we really need a bow and arrow. I'm getting out of here. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we just can't fight these guys uh, without some kind of projectile weapon. That's cool. We now have uh, we now have our fletching, so we can make uh, a crossbow if we want to. Oh, actually, I suppose I can use this guy's uh, bow and arrow. Uh, it's gonna lose some of this extra cargo. I believe there should be spiders about. I just dump some of the stuff, dump all of that, all of that, and that. That. Oh, I can hear somebody creeping up on us. There you are. Okay, spider, come over here. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if this will be enough, but let's find out if this is enough. Because it's just one string. If we can make. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay. So, one bowstring. We'll put that in here. We can't make it out of plastic. That's fine. And it's not enough string. Okay. This thing down. Okay, so we need more string. Can we do it with wool? Okay, uh, string. Okay, a macerator, spinning wheel. Ooh, we can use hemp to make string. That's cool. We can use a wool gin and a pulverizer. Sag mill, macerator. Okay. So if we can get our hands on some hemp, we can make some string, but we could just get some spiders. So, let's see if we can get that um, skeleton's um, bow and arrow. And uh, see if we can do, go, some go and do some hunting. Spider hunting, to be specific. Okay, there are any spiders out there? See an Enderman in the distance, the distinct silhouette of the tall and slender thing? Looks like whatever those um, glowing yellow things were, they've disappeared. Uh, there's a skeleton out there. Hmm. Do I dare? Do I dare pick a fight with Enderman? Because I'm not sure if I can stand up to an Enderman at this point. Basically, the Enderman, they, they will not be hostile unless you look straight at them. They're really, really, really antisocial. Uh, but if you don't look directly at them, they'll just leave you alone. So that's cool, I'll leave him alone as well, live and let live. And the spider, there you go. Get over here. You are mine. Yes, more string. Okay, maybe this is enough to make a bowstring. Let's run on home and find out. OK. 
Okay. Another spider. Never enough of those. Come on. Watch out. Okay, another Enderman. Ooh, two Endermen. Three Endermen! Yeah. Well, we are definitely going to need lots of pearls later, but at this point we don't need them, and I don't want to risk it just yet. So, let's see. Another spider. Okay, we're definitely going to have enough of those things. Um, there we go. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, hello, zombie villager. Okay. Now that's about enough of, um, that's about enough for me. Let's, uh, skip the night and see if we can do some crafting. Okay. Hello. Bye. Okay. How are we doing over here? Our sterling engines have spun to zero, but uh, the solar panels are still powering them. So let's just replenish those and see if we can get back to work. So let's look. Okay. Oh, looks like we're out. Okay. Let's see. We definitely have more lava. There we are. Let's carry this. Oh, for the lava. There are more zombies. There we go. As you can obviously see, the sterling engines are not terribly um, efficient, but they will do for a starter pack for us. I'm really hoping to just skip on ahead because we can make um, we can make steam engines that are a lot more efficient, and then we make internal combustion engines with a where we uh, dig up oil and refine it into fuel and stuff like that. But really, personally, I just wanna I just wanna skip that all of that and just go straight to nuclear. Um, but in order to do that, we kind of have to sit around with sterling engines for a while until we find enough materials to make that. And there's no eulorium. There's no eulorium. There's plenty of uranium. Um, yeah, I think even even if we processed all of this, it still wouldn't be enough uh, to make... It still would not be enough to even make a single reactor. Okay. That's fine. Uh, as far as I know, I think Eulorium is a bit deeper down, so we may be able to find it. If not, we'll, uh, we'll just have to try again and keep being. Meanwhile, some projectile weapons are in a while. So, we now have a bowstring. We need a bronze plate to make a heavy... Um, I believe it was a bronze plate. Yeah. Okay, yep, we need a large plate and a couple of limbs. Just a couple of limbs. So let's make this thing out of bronze. Yes, we got a large plate. And a cast one. And do we have enough bronze? Quite possibly. There we go. Okay, while that's while that's uh, cooling, let's see if we can make some bowlins. To do that, we need a pattern. Yes, a bowling pattern. How oh, did you know? Okay. That way we need where is our plastic of the oh, there it is, okay. I'm gonna make some bow limbs out of plastic, so that's one. That's two. Okay, plastic 
down. Don't need that anymore. So we got a couple bow limbs. We're going to have our plate ready in a minute. There it is. And is that? Oh, yes, yes, it is. Excellent. So these two of those. We have a plastic little bow that is tough, reinforced, and we are clumsy. That is perfectly fine. That is perfectly acceptable. Okay, let's see if we can launch some arrows with it. Okay, so it's got a good draw length to it. We can pick up the uh, arrow once we launch it. So that's cool. That is, that is cool. We are now ranged. Unfortunately, we only have two arrows. We managed to harvest from our uh, skeleton friend over there. Well, three arrows. Let's make a bunch of arrows instead. Um, in order to do that, we need to make a quiver. Um, and what's really cool is you can kind of uh, make replenishing arrows by applying a modifier to this quiver. But first, we need an arrowhead, arrow shaft, and some fleshing. Now, we can make an arrow shaft just out of wood, that's fine. Fleshing, of course, we make with arrows, and uh, an arrowhead as well. We can cast that. So we're going to make some heavy arrows out of bronze. In order to do that, we're going to get first a pattern for an arrowhead. Uh, there we go. No, I'm not sh Oh, no, that's fine, actually. No, it isn't fine. Okay, arrowhead pattern. Make an arrowhead out of stone. Yes. And we put a shark in a pattern because we don't need that. Okay, so I'm just making sure there's no heavy arrows. It's just arrows. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Throw a knife. Javelin. Yeah, that's not okay. So we, we just make some arrows, and the material depends on what makes it um, a heavy arrow or a light arrow. So this is a stone arrowhead. We'll place that onto our casting table. And do we have any um, brass? Yes, we do. Excellent. So let's get that. Uh, there it is. Put that down here, and you get. There we go. Okay, let's make a casting. While that's sitting, let's make some fletching. Do we still have those? Yes, we got some feathers. Let's go make some fletching. Now we need a fletching pattern. We don't already have one, that's fine. This one, fletching, 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 there it is. Okay. Let's make some fletching, this takes one arrow, that's cool. Okay, now we have our um, cast. Now we just want to pour some bronze into it. Or do we actually want to use... We have tin, aluminium, seared stone. Oh, we have anything else. Ooh. You know, I wonder if lead arrowheads are any good. Well, it seems to cast just fine. They may be a bit soft, I don't know. We may be we may well be wasting we may well be wasting an arrow, but uh let's let's find out. So um you know I'm, I think I'm gonna make the shaft out of bone, just to give it a little bit extra strength. So, um, we, we, oh, is there a pattern for it? No, there isn't. Okay, so we just use a tool, a tool rod pattern. Not a tough tool rod, just a regular tool rod. Yeah, we'll put that in here, put that, make a bone rod. So our arrows are gonna have Lead tips. They're going to be lead tipped arrows made of bone. Does that work? Yes, it does. Okay, so the attack is one heart. We have 19 of them. They have 95% accuracy, 7.8 weight. I don't know if that's good or not. Um, and a break chance of 6.8%. I'm guessing that's a, a chance of them breaking and us not being able to pick it up. And they're heavy. They're heavy lead arrows. 
is exactly what we want. Okay. So put this away and switch to this. damage is 6.4 hearts. That is plenty. That is lots of damage. So let's just uh, discard all of our stuff. Everything we really don't need at this point. No need black wool. No need these. No need that. And we'll fill that up. So... We have any wood? We have no extra wood and we have to discard other things. Too many, too many things in our hands. Too many things in our hands. So, put this away. Put that away. Put the um, castings away. There we go. Okay. Put the um, glass. We do need the bronze. Definitely need the bronze. So keep the bucket. We don't need the rotten flesh. Throw it away as well as the uh, spider eye. That is cool. In fact, I think I'll have this so we can see how many arrows we have. Excellent. Now we can go hunting. Okay, looks like we've exceeded um, we've exceeded our capacity for cargo. Have we? No. Okay. Why did that happen? Okay, it looks like these pipes only really deliver to one half of the chest. Um, I don't really recognize that you can deliver to both. So, yeah, whatever. Okay. And the night sets. There's a whole lot of stuff that's been strewn about. Let's just pick all of that up. Okay, this is Electrotine. We really don't need that. Uh, we've got some Uranium, some Lapis Lazuli. Hmm. Gold Ore. No Yellowite. No Yellowite at all. Okay. Oh well. Let's go hunting. I believe I can see some of those um, glowing golem things in the distance. Oh, well. okay. okay. I don't need many of these anymore. But I am interested in hunting those glowing creatures. Where did it go? It's just here a second ago. Oh, hello. It's a witch. Wish they could go. Okay, now where are those glowing things? I did see them in the distance. They they really must despawn at the drop of a hat. Must be very shy. Okay, well, let's see if this um, arrow does anything. Okay, that took away half of its health. Okay, that took away three and a half hearts. That's a bit disappointing. Hopefully as we get uh, more experience we'll be able to do some more damage, but at this point it's not very impressive. Okay, our accuracy absolutely sucks. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, not doing terribly well at this point, um, but we're still alive, so that's a thing. Um, the bow and arrow, the plastic, plastic bow is not as much of a success as I'd hoped. The heavy arrows just only do three and a half hearts of damage. Um, can only attribute that to uh, not enough experience with the bow because we're still clumsy with it, and we're still clumsy with the arrows as well. So. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, I think I might call it there. We've gone way over time, but we are now armed and we can shoot arrows. That will have to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.